pretty pretty. Trying to get everybody in a, a safe position, get that huh? Come out of the way. Good. All right. No dead birds. Well, no, they're not dead. Nope. Nope. Yeah, they see him now. He kind of looked like he was laying down. He walked all over, and this one, these birds are moving pretty good. There he goes. Get it, Jerry. Good shot, shot. Good shot, dude. Good shot. Hey, I'm Jay Gregg, and on today's show, we're in Snow Camp, North Carolina. Yeah, I thought it was Beaver Pond down. Sporting Club. I got the boys from Bill Black yeah. Chevrolet with me from Greensboro, and we're going quail hunting. Stay tuned, it's all coming up next. Joining now is Mr. Johnny Miller. Johnny, thank you so much for having us yes, out, sir. man. It's a pleasure to finally get to meet you. We've been talking on the phone. Yes, sir. Glad to have you. Glad to welcome to Beaver Pond. Well, I have really been looking forward to it. Actually, we've been hearing about you for about a year now. We just hadn't been able to get up with you. Um, Kelly Harrell from the uh, North Carolina Wildlife Habitat Foundation told us we need to come see you. Yes, sir. What a beautiful place you have. Thank Absolutely you. beautiful. Thank you. We have... Uh, here we got about 305 acres here. We have uh, we have several wild cubby birds that we have in here. We uh, we plant a lot of habitat here for them, and uh, it's it's been a real good thing to uh, for people to come and enjoy themselves. We do corporate and family type events here as well, and uh, everybody enjoys coming to Beaver Pond to get a get get a shot at a quail on a cubby rise and that type of thing. It's really a, it's really rewarding at the end for people to come out and say that they enjoyed themselves at the end of a hunt. Feels good, doesn't it? Well, you were talking earlier about planting. Man, when we came in, you've got this place planted to the max. What is that out there, brown top millet? Yes, sir. Got brown top millet, and we got some uh, Sudan Sudex in here. We also do some uh, foxtail and do just a variety of what they call a wild game mix that we get out of uh, Kansas, and we, we plant it, and of course, we fertilize it. and. We, yeah, a lot of people come out and they don't realize the work that goes into planting and planting. It is. It's uh, but but to do it right, you you need to fertilize and, and maintain. We do a lot of burning here, prescribed burning. So we we're trying to maintain this for wildlife and what good wildlife habitat. And you're doing a fine job. Tell us, you you've had the wounded warriors here? Yes, sir. We've had the wounded warriors, and now we have operation in during gratitude. Uh, which is a, a deal that uh, Dick Jones has put together to bring these soldiers in that have dedicated themselves overseas and whatnot and brings them in for a, for a good day shoot. Man, that's really nice. Uh, you were telling me too, you also do stuff with 4-H? We do. Boy we Scouts. do 4-H. Boy Scouts come here to shoot. Uh, we do uh, hunter safety programs here. We love to get the youth involved because that's the future yes, for, for us in the outdoors. Well, tell us this, if anybody wants to set up, say, a family hunt or a corporate hunt or a father-son, father-daughter outing, what, how, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Yes, sir. Well, you can go to the website. The website is uh, beaverpondnc.com. And you can scroll down the taglines and it'll give the information there. Also, uh, my phone number is 336 uh, 870 would be the best way to get in touch with us. And uh, I'd love to have you to come out and have a day here at Beaver Pond. Well, like I say, it's absolutely beautiful. Folks, you got to come see this place. It's not that far. It's right here in the Carolinas. Uh, matter of fact, we got. Uh, Jerry and Stewart over there with Black Chevrolet, and we're getting ready to go do some quail hunting. Once again, thank you, Mr. Jake. Thank you. Let's go Appreciate hunting. it. Thank you, Jake. We, uh, here at Beaver Pond, we're real conscious about gun safety and dog safety and people being safe with, with uh, using a loaded gun, of course. And the only thing I ask is do not shoot at a low bird. And if you're if you're in line with each other, just the, the guy that's standing to the right should only shoot to his right, and then he can turn around. But just shoot a high bird. Don't don't be shooting a low bird because a dog has a tendency to want to jump at a bird. And these uh, these dogs take a lot to train. It takes a, and everybody's proud of what they got, and we just want to make sure it's all safe and everybody can go home and see their family again. <laughs> Good boy.
good shot. Good shot. Now tell me this, who got that one? I'm Stuart, we'll Stuart. Play that one. <laughs> Pick him up, Bandit. Bandit. His dog was ready it. for us to get over here. We were up on top one of the other talking. They had a point. There he goes. Look at that. Well, one of them went toward the woods. The other one didn't. Oh, there he goes. Must have been three in there. Oh, four. Good shooting. Good shooting. Jerry shooting a 410. How many was in that cubby? I think it was five in there. How many did y'all get? I see you got we one. Got, we got a couple. <laughs> who, who got those now? We're not telling. <laughs> yeah, we got another point right, right up here. Right, let's get on over there. Yeah, let's get up there with the dog. He says they'll come out and check things out and then go back under there. Yeah, I got a leg, I believe. He, he That's a right sporting you, chance dude. there. I got him in the leg. We'll have to go hunt him again. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Maybe my shooting will get a little better. Get a whiff of quail under him. Come on, come on, buddy. Jay, tell me about your dogs, man. They did a good job. They backed each other up. Oh, all. that was pretty tough. That's, that's beautiful. That's what I, I, you know, I not leave this gun in the truck just to watch the dogs work. I don't know about that, yeah. but you know. I know. It's fun to shoot a bird, isn't it? <laughs> but watching those dogs is, is that's a thrill. Knowing that, uh, you know, worked with them for eight years in his case, ten mm -hmm. years in LA, and three years of this young dog. Have you yeah. always had these uh, dogs? I had dogs since I was 13. Wow. Used to rabbit hunt with my dad, and then uh, he got rid of the rabbit dogs, and I got a bird dog at 13 years old. Been doing it ever since. Been doing it ever since. You yeah, know, like, what's, what's funny is we were talking earlier, it's a small world. We got some connection, don't we? Never yeah. Never met, yeah. but uh, my uncle in Greensboro, they knew each other. And I think you stayed in one of my uncle's houses yeah, years and years ago. At the Ferguson Park. Right, in Silver City. The south in Silver City, that's correct. A small world. It is. It let's is. get back to it. Let's get some more birds. That was good right there. Okay. Who's going to shoot? I got it. You want to shoot? Yeah, I'll, I'll get the bird up. I won't shoot. Okay. Bird maybe out front a little bit. Oh. Oops, oh, there is another bird. Uh oh, kitty. Good shot. Yeah, a little bit better now, Jerry. We got one here. You got one straight out there and then one over here. Keep an eye on that one. You should have picked that one up. Dead bird, Ellie. Dead bird, Ellie. Dead bird. I'm going to tell you what, this is a pretty place. Dead bird, Ellie. Fetch him up. I love these rolling Fetch hills. Man, on, I Ellie. love it. Got Stuart Black now. Stuart, tell me a little bit about that beautiful Parker shotgun, man. Well, this is a, it's a Parker 12 gauge. My grandfather had, gosh knows, I don't know how many years and years and years ago, probably maybe uh, 60 years ago or so. He claimed to be a hunter, but I think he was more interested in the post hunt activities than he was the actual hunt activities hey, that's themselves. The, that's so the best part. That is one of the best parts. But uh, I haven't been fired much. I hadn't. I, I bet I've shot this thing a handful of times. And so I'm out here oh, working birds with it today. You're playing, that, playing it down a little bit just in case you missed yeah, it. Yeah, I might miss this one. The reason we keep jerking our heads is they got a point right here. Uh, Jerry's going to walk over in the woods and try and flush them out to us, see if we can get them. I'm going to let you go with that double barrel All there. Right, we'll, we'll see if this old Parker knocks it down. See if, old, if Granddaddy's proud. They keep going toward the woods. He's coming back around. And they, they hunted them like raccoons. They turned dogs. Jay, probably fly your way. You good at missing? 
Got Jerry's dogs down there to work in the thicket for us, but right now let's head to Advanced Land and Timber and see what Mark McMillan has for sale this week. I think you 32. How many is that, Lee? You type in the bond. This is taking your February 25th pheasant shoot. Hey, guys. Yeah, man. Huh? <laughs> hey, 12 gauge. We'll be now Stuart Black. Stuart, how you like Beaver Pond Sporting Club, man? Man, this place is great. It's phenomenal. Place, it's a phenomenal, beautiful place. Good shooting. A lot of fun. I can't wait to come back. I know. Me too. I know. I'm counting the days. They are. They're actually getting things ready. We're going to go back out and hunt a little bit more. But uh, I want to talk to Stuart a minute. Man, I tell you, first of all, I want to thank you and your family for sp sponsoring the show this year. Absolutely. No um, problem at all. Bill Black, Chevrolet Cadillac, has been around a long time, hasn't he? Yeah, we were established in 1955. We're on the third generation of ownership right now. Wow. Yeah. And um, you managing it now? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, have got myself, Jamie McPherson, and a couple other guys. We're, uh, I tell you, business is great right now, and we're, we're looking forward to years and years to come. We're doing a big remodel, so we're going to look at the different June, so we're excited about that. What's the biggest selling vehicle right now? Uh, right now, a new Chevy Cruises. I mean, that, that's, it's a heck of a little car. We're doing real great with that. Well, with gas the way it is. Oh, yeah, that, and you know, our little Equinox. Yeah. Chevy SUV, Cadillac SRX is doing well, and of course, Cadillac Escalade. You can't go wrong with that either. No, you can't. You can't. That's riding in style. That's right. That's right. Well, uh, tell me this. You know, y'all have been there 55 years? 55 so? years. That's, that's unbelievable. Yeah. What's y'all's website? It's uh, www.billblackauto.com. Now, y'all got people coming from all over the Carolinas looking and buying, don't you? We do. We do. Our website traffic has tripled over the past year. So, I mean, everybody's you know, going to the computers. Everybody's going to computers, and that gives us a bigger reach. And, you know, if we get a lead, we're going to sell it. What's the furthest way that you can remember somebody coming to get a call? Alaska. 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 You're me. No, and it was, a, it was an old beater pickup truck. We put it on the website. He, he, he wanted to take a road <laughs> wow. trip, came in from Alaska. No kidding. No kidding. And he took it and went on back. Drove on back. Great. Well, I think these boys are about ready for us to head on out. Appreciate it. Let's go get right. some birds. Let's go, let's go shoot some birds. I ain't kidding, man. Gotta get me from Alaska. Alaska. Thank you so much for letting us come out. The boys from Bill Black Cat like had a ball, and as well as I did, man. That's that's fun. You just yes, can't sir. beat it. Where it's where did you get the name Beaver Pond Sporting Club? Beaver Pond Club. Sporting Club. Club, is, Sporting Club is, is you can see behind us we have a beaver pond, and uh, when I when I first rode up here and, and looked this place, I, I said right then that's what I wanted to name it, and it just uh, stuck and. It's just uh, it's neat to come down here and look at the wildlife this provides. And then you live here on the property. Don't yes, you? sir. I live in a cabin. It was actually going to be the clubhouse, and then end up building a bigger clubhouse. And I'd have lived right here too. Yes, sir. But Timmy, you we were talking earlier. You got uh, sponsorships and corporate memberships, and even down to the individual. What 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 levels do you? Yes, have? sir. I have uh, individual membership. I got a wing shooter, and then we go to a wing shooter plus for individuals. And then I go corporate. Then I got a corporate plus membership, and it's all on the website. And uh, it's really worked out well because it gives a lot of different packages and gives a, right. everyone can see it. Even in the corporate thing, you know, you want to bring your, your people with you. I mean, your, your employees, and what a great way to reward employees. Right. Or it, people you're trying to get to come do business with you. Exactly. And they, uh, they come here and they bring a large group, bring a family, or just have a, a corporate type meeting here. Uh, we can do different types of hunting, of course, and shoot the five stand. And, and That's right. You got sporting some. clays up in there. Yes, sir. I have sporting clays. Well, tell me, this, tell me about the room and how many bedrooms do you have? Yes, sir. We got three private bedrooms and then I have a bunk room. We can accommodate either eight or 11, depending on if you got an individual or if you got couples together. Um, and then we have a, a large room over there that's got leather seating. It's really furnished nice that people come and enjoy and relax. And then we have a kitchen to see that we can provide a cook or they can even use that for their own facility to have a cook out. John, we appreciate it, man. I, Thank you. It was truly a pleasure meeting you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, if you're looking for a place to go wing shooting, he's got everything from pheasant to quail to turkey to dove. Yes, sir. Until yes, next week, get out and enjoy your Carolina outdoors.